All right, what's up guys? So we got a new product that we're gonna be installing on the Maverick today. We got a set of hood lift assist struts. These are made by a company called Sabasa. They're an independent Amazon seller. And, and really there's a lot of different options out there for these things already. Rough Country's making some, Ford's making their own. Um, there's a whole bunch of different Amazon sellers you can buy these things from, but these are the cheapest ones that I have seen so far. Um, on Amazon right now, these are running like $39.99 with Prime free shipping. We're going to put them on the truck so I can show you guys, um, see how they work, but I think they're going to be a, a pretty good option for, for the price point that they're at. This project really couldn't be any more simple. We've got two struts. One is going to go on each side of your hood. We've got the lower brackets. These are gonna be mounted to the bottom of the struts. And then we've got the top brackets and these are gonna to mount to the inside of the hood and connect to the top of the strut. We've got some bolts here and we've got a ton of extra washers here. For tools, the only thing that we're gonna need is gonna be a size number 10 socket, a size number 10 open or box ended wrench, it doesn't really matter, and a size number 13 open or box ended wrench. You also get a paper set of printed instructions. These aren't going to be super clear. They kind of tell you what you need to do. So you can see that the um, this bracket here, the smaller size bracket, it's got an arrow pointing to the position that goes in. You've got the larger size bracket with arrows pointing to the position that that goes in. So bolt number B is going to be this one and bolt number C is going to be this one here. But that's really all you get for instructions. Um, you also get some pictures of the inside of the engine bay, but um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Taking a look inside the engine bay on the edge of your fender, you should have this piece that sticks out right here with nothing mounted on it. So the holes that we're going to use using this as a reference are going to be in front of that. We're going to take this bolt out here. That bolt is going to go back in with this underneath it. And then you have another open hole down here and that's where this bolt and washer is gonna come in place. So one of the bolts that you need to mount this is already on your truck and that's gonna be that top one. Both of these, the one that comes on your truck and the one that's going to go here that comes with the kit are gonna be a size number 10. And then for the top bracket, looking up here at where the hood support connects to the hood, you've got two bolts, one back here and one up front. You're gonna be mounting your top bracket to the forwardmost one and that bolt is obviously already there as well and this is going to be a size number 13. first thing that we need to do is take this bolt off right here holding the fender on that's going to be our size number 10. damn it next we'll go ahead and get our bracket on here so the one that you're going to want to use on the left side of your vehicle is going to be the one that points forward so this longer piece should be forward and this should bend over this little tab right here and hang down inside the hood just like that. The next thing we need to do is we need to put this bolt through. So this kit is gonna come with this shorter bolt, which is the one that had that washer and the nut on it originally. And it's also gonna come with these longer bolts. We're gonna use the longer bolts to go through here actually. And the kit comes with all these extra washers. So we're gonna use a big one underneath. And we're also gonna use a, uh, one of the smaller size ones to go up here. Once we've got that bottom bracket on there, we can go ahead and get this top uh, bracket mounted up. This is going to mount to the forwardmost one. Take the nut and the washer off and this will mount right up here just like that. These are specific for the left and the right side and that's going to be designated right inside here on this bracket. You're going to have an L and an R and we can take that washer and that nut and put that right back on. We'll just make sure that's snug down and while I'm under here too getting this one done I'm actually going to come in and I'm going to make sure that this back bolt is tightened. Something that I found um, on mine at least on the other side um, this bolt back here was actually just a little bit loose from the factory, which was allowing the hood to flex on uh, the bracket a little bit, which you definitely don't want. So I'm going to give that back one just a quarter turn, make sure that's nice and tight. Now, one important thing that I did find about these struts, because I've actually done the other side of the truck already before filming this side, is that these come pretty stiff out of the packaging and, and they're actually pretty difficult to get compressed. So when I first uh, mounted it up on the other side, I couldn't get it to compress right, so I actually took it... Um, put this on top of a wood block on the ground and actually press down on it um, just to kind of loosen it up. So these do come pretty stiff and they need to be stiff in order to be able to support your hood. Um, but give it a couple presses just to kind of get these um, loosened up a little bit. You can go ahead and just kind of press this on. And we'll go ahead and get this lower one mounted up as well. And you might need to lift the hood just a little bit to get that to line up and pop into place. So if you need to take these back off, um, this little metal band that runs around the back is what actually clips that into place. And if you look at the back, you can see that there's a hole there and there's a flat piece. So you can actually take a small little flathead, um, pop it in there, and then you can pop this clip open and that'll allow you to 
pop that back off. Yeah, that's it, guys. Um, super simple, easy project. You can see that both of those struts together are completely supporting the hood. We can bring this down a little bit. And uh, once you get it to about right here when you're opening it, they just take over and finish opening the hood for you and support that very, very strong. All right, guys, it's been about three weeks since we installed the product in the truck. I wanted to make sure I gave it a little bit of time to test this thing out and really form an honest opinion before I shared my thoughts with you. And overall, I'm pretty happy with this product. I'd probably give it a four out of five stars. There's a lot of really great things about it that I like, and there's a couple things that I don't like as well. I think the major thing that I really like about this product is how cheap it is compared to the competition. The big name brands that are, are selling these hood lift assist struts are pushing like a hundred bucks, um, or at least double what these ones are these are $39.99 with free shipping and even a lot of the other knockoff Amazon sellers that are making these things now are selling them for a lot more than that so this is a pretty good deal in my in my opinion um, the second major thing that I really like about these is the simplicity it's only a couple bolts um, you can slap them right on it takes like 10 minutes super easy and it, it does exactly what it says it's supposed to do which is always a bonus and the third major thing that I think is really great about this um, hood lift assist strut set is honestly the durability I'm kind of shocked at how durable these things are for being um, you know kind of an Amazon knockoff brand usually you don't really know what you're gonna get you get like Chinese made stuff that just falls apart on you uh, but these ones are actually really strong they've got a lot of power um, I haven't had any issues with them so far and everything on them is is made out of super durable uh, metal and other components there's like no plastic on these at all even the little spring clips that are on the ends down here that um, spring close and hold the balls on the end of the strut are made out of metal. So uh, that's always a bonus. I don't really foresee any um, longevity issues with these. I think they're gonna last pretty good. Now, things that I don't really like about this product, the number one biggest thing being the poorly written instructions that are included with it. I think these do more to confuse you than they do help you. And I say that because earlier in the installation, um, I showed you guys how the top brackets up here have an L and an R stamped onto them, which indicates the left and the right side of the vehicle. However, in the instructions, the picture that's shown actually has those brackets flipped. So it's an error within the instructions. And if you don't notice the L and the R stamped on those parts and you install them based off of what the picture shows you to do they're gonna be on the wrong side of the truck now if you do that the hood is still gonna close but it's gonna have a significant um, you know amount of force that's involved with being able to close it because those struts are, are cocked to the side a little bit more than they're supposed to be if the brackets were in the correct spot so there's a little bit of extra force there that it takes to pull that hood close you know granted this is a very cheap product so things like that are probably to be expected but also I think if you're spending 40 bucks on a product the instructions that are included could be adequate and at least not have any errors printed in them so that's just my opinion but um, probably the, the biggest uh, dislike about this product is this instruction manual right here. And then the other thing that I found that's just kind of a nuisance with this product is how stiff these struts are out of the package. And they were actually so bad to the point that when I installed the first one, I literally could not pull the hood closed. And it was acting as like a lever because this thing was not compressing at all. So when I was pulling on the front of the hood, it was pulling the back of the hood up off of the hinge, which you definitely do not want. So that's when we were able to take the struts back off and then put them on a two by four on the ground and actually put our body weight into it and compress them down. And then once you do that, you can put them back on and the hood will open and close as it's supposed to. But it's just kind of a pain in the ass to have to do that out of the package. I feel like they should come, um, you know, ready to go and ready to install. But it's definitely something that I do recommend doing if you do this product before you install the struts on the truck, just compress them a few times. And then once you do install them, uh, run your hood through a couple cycles I did like 10 just opening and closing it to get those stretched out um, and then they have no problems at all and then the last issue that I have with these struts actually isn't with these particular struts at all it has nothing to do with the brand nothing to do with the design of the struts or anything like that um, the issue actually has to do with more so with the truck and the fact that it wasn't designed to have these gas struts on it in the first place so when you install gas struts on these Mavericks I found that when you close the hood the pressure from these gas struts actually pushes the hood forward in a fashion that puts too much pressure on the latch mechanism which causes the hood to become jammed closed because when you go to pull that lever, um, the cable that runs inside actually slips off the clip because there's so much pressure there from you trying to pull it. So I did a, a separate video that's already uploaded on fixing that issue um, and showing you exactly what's causing it um, and what you can do to fix it so it doesn't happen again. So I definitely recommend checking that out um, if you plan on installing any hood struts on your truck. And again, that's not an issue with these. That's not something that I'm faulting these hood struts for. Um, it's an issue that um, has been 
been reported with several different brands of them and it's just the pressure that it puts on there so anyway guys i definitely recommend this product again i give it a four out of five stars i think it's great it does exactly what it says it's supposed to and at the price point of 39.99 with prime free shipping you can't really beat it so the link's going to be down in the description for you guys to check out if you're interested in potentially purchasing this product and installing it on your own truck and again thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed the video and i look forward to seeing you on the next one